Hey, John. <laughs> Good to know you. Cameron's back. Laptops. Hi. Hi. I'm mesmerized by your Are they really unfloated? Light. No, they're still, I mean, they're what unfloated. They so, for us, what, what are you doing today? Uh, today we had our um, first ever, first annual, first of all time, first for all time, <laughs> high tech high exhibition. Nice. Ken? Uh, <laughs> Andre! <laughs> Uh, actually, it was about so, reflection. So, yeah, so <laughs> students, students started here with their. This is our faux dark room. The students were actually wearing rubber gloves, which is always scary, and they were pretending to develop film while shaking uh, sketchy. What do you call those? Water at people <laughs> pretending they were dangerous chemicals. Oh, nice. These are my safety goggles. Oh, you always have the safety goggles. These are my favorites. This is like a really bad Thomas Dolby video. <laughs> yes, this is my Lindbergh glasses. <laughs> Um, Got the drying process all figured out. This is a gallery of emptiness <laughs> that has nothing in it. It should have had questions in it that are sitting, I think, somewhere over okay. there. But in classic high tech high form, it was not done, but the fabric was sewed perfectly and hung. It's like the Beatles White Album. Um, this was the coolest part of the Oh, album. dude! It was, it was completely dark. And should we put up a demo? Oh, let's do a demo. Oh, you know what? The limitations of our perception. You want to come to the dark room? Yeah, let's go check out the dark right. room. We start. <laughs> We're going to the back doors of the gallery right now. Don't look. Oh, I just, I just, I think I just, did I shoot that? Oh, no, I hope not. Not yet? Got a dark room? <laughs> Drum roll. All right, here is our dark room. This is where we begin. With our inspiration, we had kids set up here earlier that were actually, you know. Going through and doing going it all? Going through the motions. They were, you know, putting up their prints here. Um, so cool. Some of the experimentations that the kids did with the art elements. And then to your flip side, um, just a brief synopsis of uh, what this project is about. Some inspirational, these are from the realist time period. These are some books that we um, use as resources. This is where we're going next. A little Dostoevsky, a little Borges, a little Nietzsche. <laughs> You know, the usual. <laughs> light reading. Right, light reading for the ninth graders. Anyway, some of these books have we used to look at the photography and, and uh, look at how other photographers used. Oh, that is so cool. Elements. Oh, if you only spent time in a dark room. Yeah, right? Okay, so oh, that's great. Photographs will be hung. Uh huh. Better printing. This is to be. <laughs> Still. <laughs> and now. We come into the inside of the mind, the optics. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice the mind is incomplete. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Froze. Dude, this is so sweet. This was sweet. Whoa. You gotta see it with the right, the right lighting. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyways, guys. Hey, Whoa. Froze. This is Froze trying to open a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> so Froze, like, what were the kids working on? Insurance for these laptops. <laughs> <laughs> Did websites to explain several optical phenomena that involve light and that involve the distortion of perception, as in the sky appearing red or a sunset appearing red, the sky appearing blue. Some of them are still scrolling their websites. Okay, remember, we haven't practiced this before. <laughs> <laughs> Never done this before. You will notice. 
because the halogen light's extremely close to the highly flammable <laughs> <laughs> shading. So where'd you get the code for the scroll? Excuse me? Who's the who's your code guy? Oh, um, David Shiani. Of course. Yep. And Donnie Klein. I love the exit lights. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> so no 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 near catastrophes at all? Mm, not yet. Quality kids, huh? Up, <laughs> and then the cameraman took me out. Wow. I do want to mention Ted's one piece of advice for one Thank from you. the sprinklers. <laughs> <laughs> which, which further, which further, like reinforces my my do not enter theory of like never putting fragile stickers on anything. <laughs> <laughs> Never put up a do not enter sign. <laughs> You're just asking for it. Oh, that was so gnarly. Hmm. You don't even done yet. You got to do the shelf part. All right. We got a movie over here. Oh, yeah. We had an ongoing like, slideshow. And then at the end, we had a documentary about the kids' work, how they put the whole thing together. I love the way you guys set this up. It's good. That's awesome. Good shape. Okay. Don't hit a laptop on a prize. Turn to your right. <laughs> no, right. My other right? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. So the students use their understanding of how the eye works and understanding of art elements and created black and white photography for about, oh. I don't know, about a week and a half. We took some of these are experiments with their are really good. elements and then some of them are ladder works that were self-portraits. So they have brief description on how the art elements were used and analyzing how that affects the overall effect of the composition as well as um, potential meaning for their viewer. Wow, Shots you guys. Great. This is cool. So, yeah, there's some pretty amazing... Look at this. I love this one. There's like... They, Whoa. they look, really look got it. You know, it's really cool. I mean, you spend so much time reading their works yeah. and then when you see how they're understanding visually, it's so quick mm. and it's it's... A nice way to get to know who they are. Did I mention my laptops are hanging from the ceiling? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you were sitting there, and I was like, I would have been so cool if this was plexiglass just to keep with the same theme. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get acrylic for that. Cool too. equals expensive. Yes. Yeah. Great. This is expensive. Mm -hmm. so but, is yeah. but you can always yeah. reuse it. And I can always get thicker and thicker and more expensive and totally unnecessarily expensive That's plexiglass. Right. That's right. But now we've learned a little lesson about budget, huh? No. No. We no. spent the whole thing. There's no lessons. Right, no lessons there. <laughs> we don't have room for lessons. We spent too much. Wow. These, uh, this girl here has got a pretty amazing. I've like made yeah. her the main documentarian of our students now. Wow, look at that. So they had to use reflection in one of them. We're looking at light and perspective, texture. I love how this one throws you because the which face is, is more clear in the reflection than it you know is. What? You know what? Because it's overexposed. These kids, like. This speaks so much more highly of the kids than I would. <laughs> hey, I got the camera on, okay? <laughs> I love them. Oh, okay, let me see. Love them. <laughs> Where's the sample? God, look at that. This is my one of my personal favorites up here. Yeah. Look at this is that the kid who took No, him no, he was up at Balboa Park and this kid was just trailing him around and he started taking pictures of him. This is him too. So how did you, like, what did you do to go about, like, this whole project? Did you tell them, we need you to get black and white film? Did you go digital? How did you do it? Well, I did, I fielded how, what the kids had. They have film cameras or digital cameras. We went with digital because of the, just the processing of it. I could mm -hmm. put these on a printer, which right. took a lot more time than I thought it was going to take, but... Oh. 
it still was something that we could control. Um, and it's quicker, so they can see what they've created. So this is on a printer that you print yeah, these it's a, out? Yeah, it's a large format. Mm -hmm, large format inkjet printer. It's like eight cartridges of color. Um, and I did a series of drawing exercises with them first. The whole idea was just to fine tune their eye, mm -hmm. just that you know, it's just visual literacy essentially. So mm -hmm. we started with drawings, and then I set up the whole room with um, with like these stacks of chairs, and started playing with lighting. So we had the light on, and we we're like zooming into different areas. They were drawing it, a whole day of drawing, and then we turned off the lights. We looked at how you see shadows cast on the ground. Like you can start changing the shadows by contriving light versus natural light. And then the next day, they brought all their um, their cameras, um, and we started shooting differently, just inside of the classroom for about an hour in different ways. And then we went outside and just played around. And every day, I just kept giving them different elements to play with. And then they'd go home and shoot, you know, 50 pictures and come back and show me their top 10, and we'd mm -hmm. critique in groups. Right. Oh, so, and that's so important. Oh, we yeah. Do that. The critique process was really where it was at, and the, you could tell the difference. The ones that were prepared and did a number of critiques, their work is so much, you know, is so much more clear and interesting, and their eyes just more developed because they've taken more film. And the ones that came to me last minute, was like, okay, go back out, you know, yeah. it just had to crunch. Did it. you? How did you do the critique? Like, were other students critiquing each other? Well, first of all, I modeled for them, so we spent a good portion of the day showing photographs, and I critique them. Mm -hmm. I told them I was going to be really hardcore, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> and then I was like, wow, that's great. <laughs> you know, look at the line. It's like, oh, no, it's going to be hard on you. <laughs> Why'd you do this to me? So then we, and then we broke off into groups, mm -hmm. and I did three at a time, and then they started critiquing, you know, kind of right. organically. Right. But then Sweet. I just kept them going. Sweet. So it was a good process. It was compact, but I, yeah. I like their work. I'm pretty that's I thought he was going to crop this one. Um, well, we decided not to. I like the texture in here. I know, I like what you said, but somehow it just seemed like it was cut off. But we decided we'd uh, make one just see for the you. See the cropped. depth of field on that is just, that's awesome. It might be neat to see the two. Wow. I like the one above it because it looks like liquid in the, the, um, what is it? Tools look like they're, they're just tools right on the, piece of metal. Yeah. Huh. Wow. It's supposed to show his masculinity. <laughs> Not cute. Oh. <laughs> They're also supposed to have a uh, include an element of reflection since we've been studying reflection in class. Yeah. This is Rob's so big a lot push. Of what do you mean? The it was a this the reflection what oh, they're dude, thinking you can't was have it without right. it. Oh, what is their thinking it just around doesn't this? Work like, it. Yeah, you see an image, but what you see, may, and, and, like you want to hear what they wanted to do. Absolutely, that's so cool. Yeah, the idea after this, I want them to write a reflective essay that talks more at length about their process and then their product and how it how it worked. You know, does does it does it get at what you were trying to? And we also had to change sort of halfway through because. I wanted a trilogy of self-portraits. Mm -hmm. That was the aim. But somehow their um, their experimentations with the elements were more powerful. And they suddenly had to go to self-portrait. They became like, oh, I play soccer. Here's a soccer ball. It's like, N no, you just lost the that. whole week's yeah. worth of work. Mm -hmm. So I had to push that further. Like, well, okay, how, it's how you photograph. You know, even if it is a soccer ball, could you throw it in the air? Could you have some other element of motion rather than having it that concrete? Mm -hmm. Grab it, imagery. Yeah. Digital, I think, hope, it's like... I think digital was the right way to go because they could see their own images. Yeah. They could... It's quicker. Mm -hmm. Turn around. There's but I think no the ability to work the process as they had a camera in their hand, the ability to take pictures, like you saw them taking pictures and being like, mm, I don't know about that one. Right. And then being like, all right, let me try it again, let me try it again, let me try it again. I yeah. want exactly what I want. This isn't in focus. This isn't right. The lighting isn't right. Let me try this angle. You know what was really cool? When we started, when we flipped off the lights and had them play around, they suddenly started like, okay, I'm going to jump off the desk and like, I want you to catch it midair. And they, I mean, they were playing around with each other. Right. And then they were shining lights on each other. Wow. Were, so it was neat to see the kind of teamwork that just happened organically. I didn't say, now get into groups and play right, around right. with each other. <laughs> this is one of our students. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know you had his sister. Because we have Robert and Lindsay. Oh. So this is an example. We talked about soft fall off. 
of mm-hmm. light and then hard fall off. So you've got this, you know, real mm-hmm. contrast here within the softness. Mm-hmm. I love Very this light. Very cool. That's really cool. That's one of the best things she's done all year. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. I like No, she's great. She's great. I think she she makes a lot of sense when you meet her dad. I still have the camera on. <laughs> her dad? No, her dad's great. So is she. Yeah, she's both great. Her dad is such a zany character. He's awesome. There's Kevin's sis. Oh, these two go together now in different worlds. That's another one that's really fun to do. Make them do diptychs and triptychs. <laughs> right. Working as different people, and they have to trade the camera. Ah. That was really fun. Huh. This one, this is what I meant by, like, them playing around. <laughs> this Look guy's at, at the bottom of the stairs. Just. Mm-hmm. I love, I've seen that kid a million times. He's so expressive. Yeah. His photographs were awesome. They were all at the beach, mostly. And How did you guys, what did you, you just, what art would you use to click on this? Uh, I got wire. What are those? What is that? Those are clips. Alice like Smith. Clips, yeah. <laughs> just like standard photography, or like camp paint. Like you get them in. Everybody stop talking. Yeah. I'm trying, but it's yeah, not. It's, it's not, not working. It's not, but it is fine. There's wire. I, I got wire. That's cool. Yeah. And those little clips are <laughs> and very cool. <laughs> yeah, that was that nice. Goes all the way that through. kills me. It's so spectacular. I want to stay like this, you know? <laughs> it's just so... A day of instruction. You know, I think the next thing to do is though, like, okay, you have a gallery here, you have a gallery there, and it has to have... Now, Fro, what you have to throw is what you gotta do? You have to make this thing, and you put it on a cable system over so here, all... and then it just, it, high, it goes up when you're not using it, and it goes yeah. down. Oh, dude, that's a great cool. idea. Pulleys, when we, still, when we do You pulley it up, yeah. and then you just leave it, and whenever you want it, you just... I'll talk to the contractor if he wants to. Well, we want to... I want to put some space in here that is really modular and usable for displaying stuff like this. And if it's media arts, we have to have a place to display so multimedia yeah. like that. Like right. Scrolling with the battery thing there. <laughs> <laughs> battery thing really makes it. <laughs> That's yeah. the that's the authenticness of it. They oh, man, that's so <laughs> yeah. I wish they were still playing. A lot of them they're not playing anymore. They were on CD. So the kids organized all of the display. I didn't even touch it. You know what's so it. great about this is it's it's like an illusion. I mean, really. That's what I that's, that's what I was so saying. That was the whole point was to have the illusion of. That's why I I made them put all the the. the Phone core one direction right. so that you have like effectively like how many pieces of phone core? There's uh, 11. So you have effectively eight feet, 88 feet of wall space that appears to be zero yeah. because you can't see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I mean, it's not quite an illusion, but it still has that, that aura of like illusion. It's still playing with your perception, it's still playing with your eye. And same thing here, like when you really walked in here. After being in that bright white hallway, right. you walked in here and for a moment, you really couldn't, like these first three laptops greeted you, and this one was flipped. And so these three laptops greeted you, and you really looked, it looked like they were floating, you know? You couldn't quite tell. Right. And so, yeah, there was a lot of like, you know, the installation itself was an illusion. Mm-hmm. And see, the one main thing for me, 